In this video, we're going to start the CUDA software infinite geometry free worksheet rotations. Now there's a couple of different rotations. There's clockwise 90 degrees or positive 90 degrees. There's counterclockwise 90 degrees. And then there's also just a rotation of 180 degrees. Whether that's clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter. Now each of these will have a different effect on x and y values. For clockwise, the x and y values, when rotated, will become flopped and the x will now be negative. So what was once x is now y and what was once y is now negative x. For counterclockwise, starting with x and y, what was once x is now negative y and what was once y is now a positive x. And then finally, for 180 degrees, x and y will get rotated to become negative x and negative y. So let's look at this with number one. Our directions say graph the image of the figure using the transformation given. Our transformation is a rotation, and that's 180 degrees about the origin. So if we're going 180 degrees about the origin, if we were to draw a straight line, looking first at point P, a straight line from P and through the origin, if we're rotating P 180 degrees, 180 degrees, P would still be on that straight line and P prime would occur here. So you can see that that's a 180 degree rotation. So it's essentially the same distance from the center point. So P was one to the right and one, two, three, four units. P prime, one, and then one, two, three, four. So the distance from P prime to the center point is the same as the distance from the center point to P because that straight line would give us a 180 degree rotation. So here is P prime. Now let's look at K. 180 degree rotation about the origin. K is one, two, three units to the right of that origin now. So it will be one, two, three units to the left. So this is K prime. And then looking at F again, if we imagine that straight line, a 180 degree rotation, here is F prime. And now lastly, let's look at N. Remember I said that for a rotation of 180 degrees, X comma Y would become negative X, negative Y. So for N, we have a negative one and a negative two. So the opposite of negative one would be positive one and the opposite of negative two would be positive two. So that's where we can plot our new point in prime. Now I'll just draw my lines and connect. K was connected to N, so K prime is connected to N prime. K prime will be connected to P prime since K was connected to P. And P prime will be connected to F prime since P was connected to F. And finally, N prime will be connected to F prime since N was connected to F. And that's our new figure rotated 180 degrees. Let's look at number two. And number two, we have another rotation of 180 degrees. So if V was two units in the positive X direction and zero in the Y direction, going from a positive X, positive Y to negative X, negative Y, then it's going to be negative two and still zero. So we can plot V prime. And let's look at J next. J was a positive one and a negative one. So if it was positive one, negative one, that would become negative one, positive one, because the opposite of a negative one is a positive one. So negative one, positive one, J prime. Then it's one, two, three, four, five units in the X direction, and one, two, three units in the negative Y direction, so negative three. That will become negative five, positive three, so graphing that, negative five, positive three is y prime, and finally r is a positive four, negative three, so that will be negative four, 
positive 3 r prime. And then we'll connect y prime to r prime, r prime to j prime, j prime to v prime, and then v prime to y prime. And I recommend using a straight edge to help you keep those lines crisp and clean. So that's a rotation of 180 degrees. For number three, we're going to be rotating 90 degrees. However, it's going to be counterclockwise. So remember a rotation, all the points are still the same distance from that origin, just in a different position. So if we're going counterclockwise, we're going to be moving this way. So let's look at point B. Point B rotated 90 degrees. Let's first draw our straight line from B to the origin. And then if we were to draw our 90 degree angle, our right angle, B would be rotated to this point. So that would be B prime. Now let's look at X, drawing a line from X to the origin, and then 90 degrees from that. There we would have X prime. And if you remember from the very beginning of this video, I said that a counterclockwise rotation of 90 degrees, X and Y would become negative Y X. So if we look at this point N, our last point, that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5 in the x direction, and 1, 2, 3, 4, negative 4 in the y direction. So remember, x becomes negative y. So my x value, looking at what y used to be, negative 4, the opposite of that, would be a positive 4, and then my y value becomes what my x value was. So I'm just going to take negative 5 and put it in place of y. So now 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and negative 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 down is where n prime will lie. And then I'll just connect b prime to x prime since b was connected to x, b prime to n prime since b was connected to n, and x prime to n prime to finally finish my triangle in number 3. And number four, we have a 90 degrees clockwise rotation about the origin. So let's look at point B. If we're rotating clockwise, we're going to be rotating in this direction. So if we have a line to point B, 90 degrees from B will be along the y-axis. And that rotation would put B prime at this point, a rotation of 90 degrees. So here is B prime. Now remember a rotation clockwise, now that we can see what it would look like visually, let's look at using the coordinates. So rotation x, y would become y negative x for a clockwise 90 degree rotation. So if we look at k, k is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 1, 2, 3. So k is 5 positive 3, therefore x becomes y, so y will go to 3, and 5 will go into our y position, but it will be a negative 5. So plotting k will go over 3 and then down 5. k prime. Next, looking at y, y is 4, 3, so a rotation of 90 degrees, we'll put that at 3, negative 4. The x becomes y and the y becomes the negative x or the opposite of x. So 3 and then negative 4 is y prime. And then lastly, u. u, we have 2, negative 2. x for our prime coordinate is y from our original coordinate. So that's negative 2. And y in our prime coordinate is the opposite of our x coordinate which would be negative 2. So u prime is negative 2, negative 2. And now I'll connect u prime with b prime, b prime with k prime, k prime with y prime, and then u prime with y prime. So I'm connecting the same points that were connected in the original. 
Now on to number five, we have another 90 degree clockwise rotation about the origin. So that will be x and y becoming y negative x. So looking at v, that's one, two, three, four, and then negative one. So that would become negative one, negative four. So negative one, negative four, v prime. Next, k is positive two, negative four. So if we have two, negative four, switching the x and y, that would be negative four, and then our y is now negative x, so negative four, negative two. Negative four, negative two is k prime. And then lastly, j, which is negative one, negative two, that would be negative two, positive one. So negative two, positive one, j prime. And then I'll connect my points k prime to j prime, k prime to v prime, and then j prime to v prime. And lastly in this video, number six, we have a 180 degree rotation. So remember x, y will become negative x, negative y. So if p is zero, negative one, then it will be zero, positive one. So p prime, zero, positive one. For k, we have negative one, negative one. So k prime will be positive one, positive one. For q, we have zero and then negative four. So q will be zero, positive four. So q prime will be zero, positive four. And then lastly, t of three, negative two, will become negative three, positive two, t prime. Now I'll connect p prime to k prime. t was connected to p, so t prime connected to q prime. t was also connected to p, so t prime to p prime. And k wasn't connected to q, so k prime to q prime. And if you want to look at this again visually, think of the y-axis as a line, and we're rotating about that origin. So Q is rotated 180 degrees, and that's either 180 degrees counterclockwise or clockwise. P was also rotated, and then T was rotated 180 degrees about the origin, and also K. K was rotated 180 degrees about the origin. And I'll stop this video here. Join me in the next video where I'll finish this worksheet completing numbers 7 through 12. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below.